Okay, Libra, this is going to be your January 2022 money reading. Feel free to like, share, follow, reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading should you be moved to and so inclined. Feel free to share with friends, family, peers, <clears throat> anyone that you think might be interested in this reading. Check out Running Guns Hero, all things social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, check out the Patreon link below to get exclusive access to part two of this reading. We're going to be using two decks here. If we get interrupted, no mind, I'll just put this video on pause and continue like nothing happened. Spirit, spirit of gratitude, joy, love, and light, highest possible messages for Libra at this time, January 2022. Money, things to come, things that they could expect. Things to come, things that they could expect. Okay, expect work, expect work, expect demand, okay, for you to create that supply. Eight of Pentacles in the air, this is quality skilled labor, quality skilled craftsmanship, craft work, um, business acumen as well. Really doing whatever it is that you're good at doing. Doesn't have to be the nine to five. Um, Really not letting it get the best of you, though, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, not throwing it off your daily rhythm, not throwing it, not throwing you out of sync or off sync. Eight of Pentacles in the upright, this is like, you know, whether it's Excel uh, spreadsheets or whatever your kind of bread and butter is, um, this is really kind of working that uh, skill that you have, okay? Uh, it's a refined uh, process and ability. Two of Pentacles in the reverse again, not letting it get the best of you, not letting it kind of take away your harmony and your peace here. Uh, that leaves us with the Six of Pentacles in the upright, the offset of the Two in reverse and the Eight in the upright. That's being compensated in the negative end of the spectrum. It could be being breadcrumbed as well, maybe not worth your quality, worth your work effort and output here. Okay, we have a bunch coming out here. Something is missing to this piece of the puzzle here. That's usually happiness, harmonies, relationships, could be business associations as well. You got the emperor looking on to that, seeing how he can make it better, seeing how he could use his vision and his wisdom. Queen of Cups is an emotional leader. Page of Pentacles is an offer coming in divine timing here. Someone is a looking and a liking. They want to invest in you. That's going to add to the Nine of Pentacles, emotional independence, excuse me, financial independence, freedom, which leads to an emotional independent nature in the state too because this 10 in the reverse points to the 9 in the upright, which is about emotional independence, self-reliance, standing on your, two, your own two feet emotionally and physically and physically. Um, also, the 7 of pentacles remains here when we add that 6 that we we're left with if we're doing the tarot math here. Um, walking away from a previously established structure, I could read this as... Um, remembering that the blueprint is within you. The Seven of Pentacles is growing your money tree, okay? Sticking to the tried and true plan of the blueprint within you, maybe having to leave others emotionally, maybe others emotionally don't understand you or they don't get what you're doing or why you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. This could be travel or relocation here. Um, Six of Swords in the upright, okay? Maybe even traveling to uh, somewhere more affordable, okay? Um, it could be that you are able to travel for work. Maybe you're a travel nurse. Maybe you um, are able to work from home, work from a laptop, or there's Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's what the Six of Swords in the upright could speak to as well. Okay, this is fame. Okay, all eyes on you. You're being seen here working your magic. This is about wishing upon a star as well. Um... You know, wish fulfillment, um, setting your hopes very high, shooting for the stars, okay? And it's interesting because in order to achieve such a height, you quite literally have to build brick from brick, foundation from foundation. Um, some foundations have cracked, some bricks have, you know, molded. You, you've really kind of tested the waters here quite literally and, and done your own kind of like lab coat science experiment, um, you see this person is not clothed here, so they're kind of like in their raw essence, okay, that this isn't, you know, smoke and mirrors, this isn't, you know, cutesy, um, you know, th this is like tried and true, like tested, like you've been, you've been through the ringer in regards to uh, a certain uh, knowledgeability with the eight of pentacles in the upright, 
And this isn't just something anybody could do. Whatever it is that we're in reference to, maybe it could be the stream of income. You've really clocked in your hours, but it's been, you know, maybe at times to the detriment of your balance, but I was going to say that it's been as a testament to, you know, your natural pullings of what you're interested in and what you're willing to do um, as ordained by your standard. Now, the Nine of Cups in the reverse is, pardon the buzzer in the background, the Nine of Cups in the reverse is this kind of emotional um, codependency, reliance on substance. This is... Uh, it could even be not acknowledging your successes. This is a trophy case room in the reverse position. This I like to always reference to acknowledging how far you've come and seeing what you've been able to do, all the successes and achievements that you excuse me, all the uh, successes and achievements that you've been able to align and, and, and all the victories that you've been able to kind of stack up. Um, you're not resting on them, but the Eight of Cups in the reverse could be someone, excuse me, the Nine of Cups in the reverse can really kind of speak to the divine timing that's required. Uh, this star individual could be representative of you, it could be representative of an angelic being, of a higher self, your higher self. Um, divine timing, okay? Divine timing, because again, that nine in the reverse points to the eights. We have eight, and then we have two cups here. Two cups, that's ten of cups again. So you've had to maybe, you know, do a little bit of a salsa, one step forward, one step back. Um, certainly with the nine of cups here. And then, because the ten in the reverse points to the nine in the upright. And then with this nine in the reverse point to the eight, really having to leave... Um, you know, when you do leave those eight cups, you, you, you find that you're able to create your own trophy case, your own trophy room uh, in a much more suitable uh, condition, in a much more uh, suitable place that is um, kind of privy to your standard, okay, is what I'm getting here. Page of Swords is always staying um, a, a student, okay, learning from your mistakes, learning from your pit, pitfalls and setbacks. Um, let's see, as it stands here, <clears throat> yeah, so, so you, you may have had kind of shades or inklings of success and you felt like you were almost at a certain goal, but maybe you had to take a step back and release some business partners or some methodologies that weren't sustainable is what I'm getting here. And so while this individual is in the buff, they know, hey, look it. I have nothing up my sleeve, so to speak, wink, wink, um, and this is me, this is, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, you guys see it, and uh, I'm out in the open, and that's how you know that, like, look, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not uh, cutting any corners here either, okay, what I'm doing is, like, legit, uh, two of wands in the reverse, maybe feeling like there's not... Uh, a bigger vision, maybe kind of myopic, maybe too in the present. Um, nothing wrong with being present, but also you want to see where this is leading to because we did have a question of sustainability, so you also want to look at the bigger picture sustainability. Okay, what is this leading to? How do you segue out of this? How do you get into that? Um, because you don't want to be, you know, proverbially delivering newspapers forever. So there, there needs to be some sort of level up. Now these things will kind of prevent the, or prevent themselves, present themselves. Okay. Um, through kind of uh, running the, the mill and the gamut and uh, really kind of getting your reps in. The Queen of Pentacles is here, which is great because it speaks to a solid foundation, a solid cornerstone to build a, leg a legacy off of. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit? Spirit of Gratitude, Joy, Love, and Light, High Spirit. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. Let's for Libra Part 1, and then we'll head over to Part 2, Patreon link below to get exclusive uh, access, first and foremost, uh, before we re release it as a back catalog uh, at the end of the month, at the end of the listed month. Uh, King of Pentacles, goddamn. So we ha we definitely have someone that you're calling in here. 
uh, king and queen of pentacles here. Uh, someone's going to match, someone who matches your hustle, someone who matches your grind, someone who matches your values, someone who matches your perception of a, a certain way, a right way of doing things. Morally, ethically, okay, uh, is what I'm getting here with the king and the queen. Someone who wants a secure and stable setup that can't be pulled out from under them. Very cool, very cool. Almost a business partner of sorts. If it's not a, a like a super dynamic relationship, then I would say a business partner of sorts. Um, but we could expound upon that in part two. So I'm going to put this on stop, and then we're going to start part two, and it will be posted on the Patreon. So link below. Uh, feel free to like, share, follow, subscribe, reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading, and head over to the Patreon. Again, link below for part two of this reading. Holler at your boy.